Welcome back to our final, final segment for our MOOC, Launching New Ventures. Time went by quickly. We had yeah, five weeks of sure material did. with you, and uh, we hope it has been fun and educational at the same time. Right. We're going to just review a little bit of the stuff in the very beginning of the MOOC, and then talk about some of the things that we didn't have time to put in during the five weeks. Exactly. So when you remember back what we discussed about what entrepreneurship is, I think this is there are some key learnings that you can draw from these yeah. examples. For instance, you know, Entrepreneurship is often defined as bringing together resources to create value. We mm. talk mostly about financial wealth creation here because this is a concern to many of you out there. But there could also be social wealth creation, you know, where you are helping others mm. uh, to get jobs, to uh, have a better life, etc. So in that sense, you know, what we discussed is an important aspect of entrepreneurship. But it's not the whole universe, which is fine, you know, because one MOOC right. is, has five weeks and <laughs> that's the time we have. Um, this said, you know, remember also, you know, and entrepreneurship might sound like a hip and cool concept, which we think <laughs> it is but it has some <laughs> some ancient roots you know it, in the 18th century uh, an Englishman called Cantio he observed the some person that Chris will talk about in a second and used the word <laughs> entrepreneur he coined this term to define entrepreneurship in that sense right so if you think about the the Marco Polo example from the very first uh, segment you know he was a merchant adventurer he went off he thought there may be a spice route but he wasn't really sure if he was going to be able to make any money. He undertook a lot of risk. He went out on a limb. He got someone else to finance him. He went and he was able to return and make a profitable venture in the exactly. end. Exactly. And can't you observe people like this, you know? Right. So in a way, this, this idea of going boldly where no man or woman has <laughs> gone before, you know? So in that sense, uh, keep that spirit of an adventurer also and enjoy your entrepreneurial journey. So in the MOOC, we touched on three perspectives on entrepreneurship. The first being the entrepreneurial mindset, how the entrepreneur thinks, taking risks, seeking opportunities regardless of the resources available. You know, and this is not just a small company thing. This could be applicable to a startup, to a small medium enterprise, or even to a large corporation. And it's especially important for the large corporations nowadays as well because, yeah. you know, these companies need to be competitive and have to look for a new business. Right. Uh, we also talked about entrepreneurial events like the launching event, you know, the market mm. entry event. And we talked about uh, the entrepreneurship process, which is a process that walks through multiple stages, you know, and we took actually this process view in order to structure our MOOC. You know, so remember the five weeks we did, we started off with opportunity identification. Exactly, Mark. So in week two, we focused on both identifying and evaluating business opportunities for the ventures. The topic of week three was entrepreneurial marketing. Uh, how do you craft a compelling marketing campaign? And then in week four, we discussed the venture financing needs. And finally, in week five, we talked about profiting from innovation. Keep in mind, you know, it's one thing to create something new, something cool, but another thing to profit from it financially. Right. Now, there were many things that we couldn't fit into this five-week MOOC. For example, how to build a great team, how to design your organizations, your systems, your structures, your incentives. Uh, how do you design a good business model? Exactly. You know, and there were other types of ventures that we couldn't talk about, like mission-driven startups. But we encourage you to check out the Coursera platform because there are other great MOOCs where you can actually learn about these types of issues, these types of topics. So looking forward, uh, there are lots of opportunities to expand your firm, to grow your firm. Uh, if you think about the financing angle on this, uh, of course, we focused a lot last week on the you know, early stage seed funding and some of the intermediate But there things. might be other ways. You know, you, yeah. uh, once you grow your firm, expand your firm, you can cop, uh, could uh, do an IPO, which is an initial public offering. You go bring your company to the stock market, and that gives you additional funds to grow your company even further, to do international market entries, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So if that happens to you, then, of course, you know, don't forget the little people. Exactly. We could even label our <laughs> little uh, building here in Lausanne after your, with your name. <laughs> So we can understand that you're now fully excited about growing your venture, expanding your venture, but don't forget there are also some assignments that you still need to do in order to complete this course. So if you look at this slide here, it'll give you some information about what you should be thinking about in the near future. So this might be the very final session of the MOOC, but we want to be in touch with you and want you to keep in touch with us. So we've prepared a couple of options of how you can link up with us. Right. So uh, what we have set up is a Facebook group, which many of you or most of you are already involved in. Uh, so you can stay on there. You can tweet us, of course. And we will set up a LinkedIn group for the alumni of this course, for anyone who finishes the course, so that you can keep in touch with each other and with us. So thanks again for joining us in this MOOC. It has been an entrepreneurial journey for you and also for us. Yeah, we hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. 
So there's one thing in the end that we want to wish you, which is good, good luck, luck with, with your, your venture. That was almost a perfect wire, was it? <laughs> yeah, that's <Okay>. all right. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, bye-bye. <laughs> That was a fun session. No? Yeah, it's actually, like that was okay. I mean, the it went by weeks, pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, in the five weeks, if you think about it, it was five weeks only, and it's it's already gone, you know? Yeah, man. Wow. Oof. Well, <sighs> um, you know, I actually got just wanted to show you something now that we're done with this course. I, I kind of got inspired by the class itself what and is made this? a little invention. Um, uh, I wanted to, was wondering if you think there might be a business opportunity here, because this is a little time machine. What? Yeah. Um, so we like, might be like able to go back, back, back to the future stuff with yeah, uh, exactly. So all we need to do is push this button, and we could go back maybe to uh, the time of Marco no, Polo. No, no, you tried it. Yeah, let's, well, I haven't tried it, it yet. Never I we would just I test it out right now. Okay, right, so let's I just think. push this button right here. Uh, this this will not work. Ah!